Hello everyone, welcome to MMA Wired. Jorge Masvidal accused Conor McGregor of taking steroids, and things are getting pretty heated between them. Will they be battling it out in the octagon soon? Also, Ryan De Ritter says he will make Israel Adesanya tap. This should be an exciting middleweight battle. Will this fight ever happen? Stick around till the end, and we've got you covered. Don't miss out on our next update. Subscribe and get your hands on the latest stories before the rest. First up, let's look at why Jorge Masvidal and Conor McGregor are beefing. So Jorge Masvidal recently let it be known that he would love to kill McGregor in a bout. However, he feels that Notorious isn't man enough to take him on. You may be wondering why this started. So McGregor has bulked up quite a bit recently. He also stated that he doesn't think he'll be coming back to the lightweight division. Jorge Masvidal felt that McGregor's gains were all due to the effect of performance-enhancing drugs and steroids. In an interview with ESPN, Masvidal stated, He is false. He knows I am a man who hits hard and that I come to kill. I do not come to hug in the cage. I am going to give everything inside me to kill him. I'm a little bigger. Although, now he's shooting up and putting steroids and all kinds of things. But he's still a little boy. I would love to fight at 170 pounds, but I don't wait for anyone. If he wants to do it, I'll break his face. If he doesn't want to do it, let someone come next. So Jorge Masvidal is ready to give it all when he enters the octagon. McGregor is not someone who takes this lightly. He tweeted that Jorge Masvidal was an absolute pigeon brain and was stupid beyond belief. Masvidal hit back at Conor McGregor in a tweet that said, This pea brain is the biggest fight of your life, so you're either too scared or too stupid to get this check. Let's now take a step back and see what's happening here. So Conor McGregor has been out of commission since UFC 264 when he faced Dustin Poirier. During that fight, he broke his leg. So McGregor has been injured for the better part of a year. Though, Dana White insists that McGregor will be back this year. It is possible that his comeback may be delayed. But Conor McGregor has hinted that he wouldn't be coming back to the lightweight division. Instead, welterweight would be his new home. The issue is that welterweight is exactly where Jorge Masvidal resides. It's not like Jorge Masvidal doesn't have problems of his own. Masvidal has been on a losing streak, losing three fights in a row with losses against Kamaru Usman and Colby Covington. After his UFC 272 loss to Colby Covington, Masvidal allegedly assaulted Covington outside a Miami steakhouse. Masvidal is currently facing felony charges of aggravated battery causing great bodily harm and criminal mischief. Now, this is not the first time the idea of McGregor vs. Masvidal has made the news, but the issue is that Dana White believes Jorge Masvidal has too much of a size advantage over Conor McGregor. So that is an obstacle to this fight materializing. Next up, let's look at what Reiner de Ritter has to say about Israel Adesanya. So Reiner de Ritter is the reigning one light heavyweight and middleweight champion. In a recent interview, he stated, and, uh, I can hang with the rest of them. If I look at like uh, is Israel Adesanya, the way he moves, his style, it's like Taylor made for me. That guy is, the easiest fight for me at middleweight around in any wow. in the top in the top <laughs> in the world. Man. The guy he the way he moves, he's so easy to be taken down in the open space, man. His uh, wrestling defense against the wall is amazing. He gets up well. He defends all right on the floor. Um, but I think I can choke that guy out easily, man. At present, Ryan De Ritter is contracted to the one promotion, but he is open to joining the UFC or Bellator perhaps once he becomes a free agent. He stated, A small opportunity to make good money, to support our family, to uh, invest in the future. Um, so the more competition there is, the better. And now there's Bellator, there's UFC, there's uh, ONE, there's PFL, all good organizations uh, where there's money on the table. So um, if, it goes to, if I go to free agency soon, then I'll be interested in uh, talking to everyone. Um, but I'm very happy with, with what one is doing, um, with what they're offering me, so uh, we'll see. After seeing Reiner de Ritter's latest performances, many commentators say that he would do well in the UFC. Andre Galvao, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu legend and multi-time grappling world champion, 
faced off against Reinier de Ritter earlier this year. He felt that both Reinier de Ritter and Israel Adesanya had similar grappling skills. And that's a wrap. So, it seems that Jorge Masvidal and Conor McGregor are on a collision course, and we can't wait to see them battle it out. Who do you think will come out on top? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.